<laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> My name is Alvin, and for today's recording, we are going to play StarCraft 2. Alright, and this character that's introduced here, a, his name is Karak, is a face smith. A, uh, he will be introduced on episode 3, Legacy of the Void. We will get there, okay, when we get there. Uh, for now, we are still at episode 2, Heart of the Swarm. Just one episode to go, guys. <laughs> Alright, so the previous mission that we did is the Hand of Darkness. We are still at Sky Gear Station, okay, and we will continue from there. Right. And before we, uh, before we, we, we begin, guys, we are actually going to do some evolution mission for today. Okay, uh, uh, after this recording, we will be having a campaign mission, but alright, we are going to have an mission, so... Mutilisk strain ready for augmentation. Located feral broodlords must reacquire essence, can be spun into mutilisk strain. Alright, so the mutilisk, that one, uh, that flyer there. Okay, we are going to to evolve that. Okay, or at least uh, the the morph, uh, the mutalis morph. I mean, not the actual mutalis itself, just like the hydralis. Okay, we are not actually going to uh, evolve the mutalis. There are actually a there are not actually any significant damage or attack speed or any of those attributes. Maybe some physical thing, physical uh, form like some color or some additional spikes or some additional. Okay, but what this means is that the what mutalis will morph into this is going to be what we will be uh, testing for today. We will be having an, an evolution mission. Okay, so will it be the brood lord I'm going to choose or the viper strain? Okay. Personally, I see, I see how the brute lord can be very, uh, very useful. So I tend to choose this one, and for the uh, viper strain, <laughs> I'm not really much into this. I mean, my, my my style is not much into the viper strain, but let's just see if my decision can still be changed. Right. <laughs> Begin this mission now background uh, of Abathur alright manipulating or spinning some signals manipulating some larva the lists are hardly mobile try to exploit enemy lists pass instead of Dominion defense platform Sigma Centauri feral broodlords nearby Missile turrets designed to kill mutalisks. Stalemate without broodlords. Find the broodlords. We'll assimilate their essence and destroy the Dominion. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are going to kill broodlords here uh, so that we can assimilate them. Kill broodlords. Recover essence. <laughs> Some visual change over there, guys. They seem to have some blue pus at the back of their, yeah, at their backs. Okay, <laughs> uh, blue pus. That's just I can describe that. I'm not um medical 
person or something. <clears throat> and their wings are kind of different. See? Of course, not only for their colors, but anyway, I'm going to mount the doors. <clears throat> I wanna show this to you guys. Hmm. And it's there. Okay, that's how it looks. And this is its um its description. Good Lord shoots good things at its target. For things that won't be they by themselves they do not actually make any damage but it's just that they're broodlings here at their backs broodlord launches broodling assault ground targets from distance hmm. supplying mutalisks will protect broodlords complementary skills exactly <clears throat> Now let's end this stalemate. are the good things guys they they launch from the good lords Alright, 
lagi so these are the viper strain guys viper strategic asset abducts targets pulls to its location usable on ally or foe move across the river and pull our aberrations to the other side siege tanks detected use vipers pull into range of aberrations hmm? so this uh what you call this these vipers will be in group two and this aberration will be in group one I wonder how far they get it. This is basically just a function of a viper. Okay, okay. I can see them not damaging. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's try. <clears throat> I don't know if they can attack. lot of siege tanks here and I am ready to get them These vipers are interesting to look at. Viper emits disabling cloud. Foes within cannot attack. Hmm, that's interesting. By the way, their attacks. Oh, they can only attack air to air. Hmm. Fine. Rip that bunker apart. Oh, this Aiden cloud, a cloud that slows movement speed and structures from attack. Energy based abilities. That's easy. Aberrations unable to scale vertical surface. Vipers must abduct. Pull upwards. Alright. Hey, we missed something. Nah, just leave it there. mission will not end I haven't finished all in here might as well attack them all <clears throat> Uh, 
I'm gonna pull this uh, switch tank. Somehow I like Mutalisk morph ready for integration await decision. Hey, somehow I like the idea of a uh of a region, okay, or, or or making the enemies be unable to fire. I like that idea, so yes. Uh this train of Mutalisk, the Viper screen, can be useful in that way. the Broodlord strain guys here Lord my uh, the idea here is that they will morph into Broodlords while they will by another group of Metalisk okay, for air to air defense or for uh, ground to air defense so, alright so I guess that's just it guys and Hope to see you again on my next uh, on my next video. Uh, for my next video, by the way, I am going to do a campaign that will proceed where we had left at the Sky Gear Station. Okay, so hope to see you next time, guys, and bye bye.